pregame.com. Welcome back to pregame.tv. Saturday, or excuse me, uh, yeah, Saturday college football action. We're on Friday taping. It's UNLV at Nevada. Here in Vegas, you know, UNLV, a lot of excitement this year, Ken. They got four wins. So, first off, everybody's happy that steamed that overseason win total. They already cashed their tickets. There you go. Unless, unless you played it at the uh, LVH, they had four and a half. So, right now, some people have it middle. Oh, gee, that's nice. But uh, a lot of people think that this is a year that UNLV actually can become bowl eligible. I don't, you know, six and six, you're bowl eligible, but what bowls are going to be knocking on the door for a six and six UNLV team? Yeah, Marco, uh, you know what? If they get to six and six, it's a good thing because it saved Bobby Hawks. It'll save Bobby Hawks' job. A absolutely. But now looking at this matchup, you've got Nevada Reno. Uh, you know, coach retires last year. You had a great uh, run there. At Two U runs, Chris Alt. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, like a Bill Snyder type guy. Come and they back named and the field him. after him too. You know, you do. You did a good job when they named the field after you. Yep, you know that. So. This is a game where I don't know which way you're going on the game. Um, I actually, uh, my betting first look that I do every day, I actually did a play on this game, and I looked at the total in this one. I actually think these two teams are going to go up and down the field, both teams. Last week they had low-scoring games, but UNLV played Fresno State. Fresno State's got bigger fish to fry down the road with the record that they have right now, and they had the huge lead on UNLV, and Fresno State ran the ball 39 times last week just trying to get that game over with. And on the flip side, Nevada played Boise State, which is a team obviously much better defensive team than UNLV, and that game was a low-scoring game. What are you looking at in this one? Well, first off, you're right. I mean, uh, Fresno put up over 620 yards on UNLV last week. So they got to 38-14, like you said, kind of got stagnant. I know Chuck was kind of bummed because he had the over in that game and it just kind of stayed still. But like you said, Fresno looking forward to some bigger fish to fry. They're still unblemished. For UNLV, they've got four wins. But like you said, now they set their sights on, on a bowl. Uh, for Nevada, it's a disappointing start. But now they're starting to right the ship. They were able to pull out a few games. Fajardo, when he's healthy, he's still one of the best and most elusive quarterbacks in the Mountain West. And UNLV has shown they've had trouble with, you know, running quarterbacks and, you know, option type stuff. We saw how many yards uh, New Mexico put up against them in that crazy game earlier in the year. But you know what, Ken? This is your free pick. So why don't we make it official? And my free play on Nevada Day here, it's going to be Nevada. That's right. Well, down here in Vegas, we'll always call them University of Nevada, Reno. Kind of ticks them off a little bit. In fact, Chris Alt really got ticked last year during a news conference. But, uh, hey, you know what? They've won eight straight, so we should call them University of Nevada until UNLV gets that Fremont cannon back and paints it red. It's been painted blue for eight years. It's been trouble for the Rebels, doesn't matter who's coaching, to get that cannon done. And they ran into a big roadblock for this one because Tim Cornette, the all-time leading rusher now in UNLV history, he's probably going to miss this game with a knee injury. Even if he can go, he's not going to be effective. Now, they do have a good backup in Shaq Murray Lawrence. In fact, he's got one of the best averages in the country, 9.7 yards per carry. Caleb Herring's been good. He's kept defenses off balance. But I just don't think there's enough weapons for you UNLV to outscore Nevada. It'll be a very emotional game. We had the shooting up at Sparks Middle School. Both teams will wear decals from that middle school, the Golden Bear logo, on their helmets. They'll have a little ceremony honoring the teachers and the students before that game from Sparks Middle School up there just east of Reno. But I look for Cody Fajardo and Kendall Brock, that one-two combo out of the backfield to take care of business. And then Wimberly and Turner, just too much as far as the wideout position. I think they'll outscore UNLV. Win it between 10 and 14 points. Uh, you've got uh, Devontae Davis one of the best receivers uh, in the West Coast and the Mountain West for UNLV, twice Mountain West Conference Player of the Week. He'll try and keep the Rebs in it, but I think Bobby Houck and the Rebs are up against it again. Up at Mackey, Chris Hall Field, going to be tough. I'm going to take the Wolfpack. I'm going to lay the six. You'll see six and a halfs. I got it at five, but I'll lay the six. You should get it, too. I think this goes up to seven. Maybe, uh, I, I don't think it goes over seven, but I think it'll hit seven tomorrow on game day. So my play will be the Nevada Wolfpack on pregame.tv. All right, great stuff, Ken, uh, taking Nevada on Saturday. We're going to be back up next here at pregame.tv. We're going to get another free pick from Ken. He's going to go Washington at Denver, RG3 versus Peyton Manning. That's up next, pregame.tv.